Hello and welcome to our usual market update. We are going to see how the real estate market in Spain is doing. And uh, I will also give you some very interesting information about uh, who are the foreigners who are getting mortgages in Spain and what type of mortgages uh, they are receiving, they are obtaining. And also at the end, I will give you a quick update uh, where we are with the golden visa situation. I am Daniela Gnecchi. This is my channel, everything you need to know to purchase a property in Spain as a foreigner. I invite you to subscribe to the channel, to stay connected and uh, to follow me because we are going to talk about very interesting subjects over the next few months. We have the data of August 2024. If we look at prices of secondhand properties, they have increased on average by 8.6 compared to August 2023. In the past quarter, they have increased by 2.6 and in the past month by 1%. This increase has been consistent throughout the whole country. If we look at individual cities, at the most important cities, we see that prices have increased by 9.3% in Barcelona, by 10.6% in Palma, by 16.9% in Valencia, by 17.2% in Alicante, by 17.5% in Madrid, and by 18.3% in Malaga. So all the cities where especially foreigners are buying and investing the most are the cities that register the highest increase, which makes perfect sense. If we look at new development properties, the increase in prices over the past year, August 24 versus 23, is 7.5%. According to all the experts, property prices will keep increasing. And remember that if you buy new, you have the advantage that if you buy off plan, when the developer has to finance the construction, you pay less. And already by the end of the construction, the value of your property will have significantly increased. Now let's talk about rentals. When I say rentals, I mean buy to let investment you buy a property and you rent it out when you don't use it you know that the government of spain is trying in any possible way to regulate the long-term uh, rental market they tried with the medium term uh, to make some small changes but it was rejected so um, we will talk about rentals very soon in one year, the rental prices have increased on average in Spain by 9.8%. So well done to the government for the success of their politics. And uh, this increase has been consistent again throughout all the main cities, of course. Barcelona plus 11.8%. Alicante plus 12.6%, Malaga plus 12.7%, and Madrid plus 14.3%. The average rental price by square meter in Spain is 13.1 euro. In Malaga is around 14 up to 14.5 euros per square meter. In Madrid is around 20 euros per square meter and in Barcelona is almost 22 euros per square meter and going up despite everything the government is trying to do. So if you buy a property and you want to rent it out and I will help you identify how to rent it out because things are changing in the tourist rental um, context and uh, in the 
medium term rental, not much, but there are things that you must know. So this is very important. Please subscribe. Don't miss the next video specific about all the forms of rental. But the, the bottom point is that if you buy a property and you want to rent it out, you are going to make more and more money because rental prices are going up. Now let's talk about mortgages. The situation of mortgages in Spain is improving. The interest rate is going down and of course the, um, the number of mortgages that uh, are uh, offered in Spain is going up. According to the Banco de España, the number of mortgages uh, um, issued in uh, July 2024 was the best since 2010. Compared to July 2023, 25.4% more mortgages were given in July 2024 and 16.6% .6 compared to June 2024 in one month. So the number of mortgages is increasing and it's increasing rapidly. Something else that is increasing is the renegotiation of the mortgages. Now that the rates are going down, a lot of people are renegotiating their uh, um, mortgage to pay less. And uh, in July 2024, the number of renegotiated mortgages was extremely high. It amounted to 10 million euros more than in June 2024 reaching a total of 190 million euros in 2024. On average, the interest rate on new mortgages is 3.62%, which is the best one since October 2023. Now, I would like to give you some data of the um, Union de Créditos Immobiliarios which studies the, uh, the mortgages on properties for foreigners. The vast majority of foreigners get a mortgage to buy a second residence along the Spanish coast. The average amount of this mortgage is around 190,000 euros. And the type of interest rate that they choose is a mixed interest rate by far uh, over 96% uh, of uh, these of the foreigners ask uh, for a mixed type of mortgage. The average age of the foreigners who are requesting these mortgages is 45 years and uh, their profession is uh, um, entrepreneurs, company managers and director. That's the category that uh, requests more uh, mortgages but also employees, freelancers and high executives. So people from all different uh, uh, categories and the type of businesses. But what is very interesting for you to notice is that even people who are self-employed get mortgages. This uh, sometimes it's more complicated because you have to give more documents, but it is possible. Of all the mortgages that were given in 2024, around 23% went to foreigners. So we are talking about almost one fourth of the mortgages was given to foreigners and to buy a second residence were along the coast mainly Andalusia, Costa del Sol, Costa Blanca, Catalonia, Murcia, but also Madrid, and Canarias and Balearics. Where do these foreigners come from? Well, in addition to all the usual countries in, in Europe, the UK, countries from Northern Europe, uh, Germany, France, there is a very interesting information for US buyers. The number of US citizens who applied and got a mortgage went from 2.9 to 9.3 in one year. I have clients from the US who have already the mortgage pre-approved and for 70% of the price or value of the property. So very interesting news.
This shows you that if you would like to apply for a mortgage in Spain, it is absolutely possible. You can get up to 70% and the interest rate is going down and it's already very, very good. Contact me, I can help you, I can get you in touch with experts who can ensure you get the best conditions in the fastest timing. And finally, a quick update about the Golden Visa. Where are we? We are where we were last time we spoke about this. The government has focused more on the situation of the rental, so they have neglected a bit the uh, finalizing the termination of the golden visa. So we still have time until more or less the end of the year. The sooner, the better. Please do not wait. You can pre-apply uh, during the purchase of the property, in the first stages of the purchase of the property. You don't have to wait to sign at the notary. So you gain time and once you apply, no one can take the visa away from you get in touch with me i can connect you to expert lawyers who can do everything for you fast and well no risks at all i can help you find the right property and do not wait there is still time but you have to move fast this was our update for this month thank you very much for spending some time with me. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, go to my website, therealestatev.com, download the 26 page purchase guide with all the information, subscribe to the newsletter, and uh, I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you and take care.